Hi guys, Aviation JFK here, back at you with another video. Today we're going to be doing another how-to sort video on the channel. It's kind of the extended version of my budget GSE kind of video or budget model airport accessories. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how, how I do my 3D printing stuff. Um, and I'm going to be going straight to Thingiverse, which is where I get all the files from. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are at in Thingiverse. I found a file that um, is going to be useful. Um, I'm going to be printing this little pushback tug. Um, and then you're going to want to go to download all, your, all files. Um, and then it will pop, pop up in your downloads. Then you are going to want to open Cura. It's called Ultimaker Cura. This is a software that is, this is the easiest slicer. And basically what a slicer is, is it makes you, you drag in your models and then you can get them ready for your print, for your printer. Um, and there's various different like settings you can change. So there's adhesion here, which basically means there's a brim around each of the each of the um, models, which basically means that it won't warp or anything as it's printing. Support is if there's like an overhang um, and you can like print support material to make that stand up. Um, and then here you have your basic settings. Um, and then you can go onto custom and there's a ton of different like things. Here. I normally, I don't really use all of these. Um, but I do go to build plate adhesion because that is like here. It, it's a very, it's very intuitive because it gives you like instructions as to what to do with everything. Um, and you can like move your models around and stuff. So once you set that up, um, you can slice it and stuff and it'll give you a, an idea of what it, what it will exactly look like when you, uh, when, when it comes out on the printer. So that's like, it prints like the exact layers. So here you can see it printing all the layers. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go to Thingiverse, which is this here. Thingiverse is the website that I normally use, but because all of the files on here are free, um, there are a lot of other websites that you can use to get like 3D models, like CG traders, some of them are free on there. Um, but I'm gonna leave a link to all the models that I use for my model airport. So all the little bits of GSC and um, baggage loading equipment that I use, I'll be adding that all into um, the description. So if you guys do have a 3D printer or are interested in the future, you can refer back to this video to get these files. Um, but just bear in mind, if you're watching this in a long time in the future, some of these files may have changed um, and they may no longer be compatible or they may just be like upgraded basically. But what you're going to want to do is click download all files and it's going to open up in your download section. Then you're going to want to open Cura as well kind of make it small so you can like kind of drag it in um, then you're going to want to click on this and then files then you have your stl the stl is the actual file of the model um, and if you want so on cg trader specifically there are loads of 3d models that are not compatible with your 3d printer you have to make sure it says STL. Um, it's compatible with STL files, or it is there is an STL file for it, um, and that way it will work in this Cura slicer, which is um, which is what you want. Otherwise, there's there's like a whole process you have to go through to make it an STL, and you just don't want to do that. So then you're gonna grab this, and you're gonna just drag it and drop it in, and then you see it's like. You can close this now. You can see that 
this the newest one that I have here is like in here um, and this is not preferably this is not the way you want to print it because <clears throat> you want as much of it to touch the build plate as possible for um, for strength reasons um, so you can this is already made to 400 scale size but some of them you are gonna have to size down for example the the baggages and the um, baggage loaders that you see in my videos those are a 1 to 200 scale file so you'll have to make the measurements you have to half all of the measurements um, to make it the correct scale so then here you can just rotate it and then you have your thing and then you can also slice and stuff um, there are a lot more like settings that you can go into with 3d printing but I'm just gonna keep it um, simple for now because I don't want to go I don't want to dive into the whole 3d printing thing there's a lot of stuff out there that you can watch um, for example setting up your printer um, I'm just showing you how to get the files the basic files um, and how you can utilize a 3d printer to make model airport GSE for example so I'm gonna fast forward now and get all my files into Cura and then um, I'll meet you back when I'm ready to slice and save it to my SD. With the um, finished setup for our um, 3D printer GSE. Now I'm going to slice this just to see how long this is going to take. Um, and then you can get it as a bit of reference. So this is going to take about two hours to print, which is pretty long for a couple of small vehicles like this. So right here, this is what it's going to look like as it's printing. I'm probably going to set up the GoPro, see if we can get a time lapse going. Of the... Okay, so you have to remove the drive. Once we've done this, you can eject. Once you're happy with all your settings. So as you can see, here is the finished result of the 3D printed GSE. Um, I already took some of them out just to see how they would fit with the with some of the planes, and it turns out these pushback tugs were actually one to five hundred scale. So um, I'm printing another one now. I don't know if you can hear the 3D printer going off in the background, um, but yeah, I'm printing another batch of um, pushback tugs because they'll be bigger and I'll show you that these are a little bit too small. Right here I have my trusty Virgin Atlantic A380 in 1 to 500 scale. You can see that it's like it fits this one better. Um, but everything else is good. So right here we have the final product of the GSE or the 3D printed pushback trucks. Um, I printed 10 of them and it looks like set, yeah, seven of them are worked out. Um, three of them got covered in, in black paint when I was trying to draw the wheels and it just didn't work out. But you can see the capabilities of 3D printing. Um, and if you have like paint pens lying around, you just dab a bit on a piece of paper and get like a toothpick and you can draw some of these details. Um, and you can see like these these um, these GSE only cost me like two pence to make each um, with the amount of plastic they're using, if that. Um, and I think they are going to be a great addition to the airport. And here we have the final product of the um, baggage loader. I'm not sure how I want to detail those yet. Um, 
but yeah that's basically it for this video i hope you enjoyed um i'm going to be doing another video um which is going to be more on the design side of things which is showing you how to like design maybe an airport terminal or something um for those of you who are interested so leave a comment let me know what you thought um because i know some people really wanted to hear this uh, or see this video um and i i feel like 3d printing should be something that is heavily implemented into model airports or at least way more than it is now um because as you can see you can buying seven of G seven of these um pushback trucks that look like this um, from a retailer would probably cost you about 50 bucks and these probably cost me about 50 cents so in my opinion it's a steal and the 3d printer that i have is if you didn't know a creality ender 3 which is about around a 200 dollar printer that's about the price of four or five models so if you think about it it's a very wise investment and it's also a really fun hobby to get into um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this video, uh, I hope you enjoyed, thanks so much for 200 subscribers, um, it's been Aviation JFK, signing off.